Cupid, and that is it. Prancer? Did I say Prancer before? To say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Babe, I'm ready. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Wairi and in today's video, I'm going to be getting my makeup done, sitting and chatting with you guys. I pulled a bunch of questions from the internet, your Christmas related questions, um, answering questions um, surrounding like the holiday and I thought it would be a good idea to do that, get my makeup done and like, yeah, chat with you guys. So I know most of you will be thinking like, who is getting their makeup done in 2020? I am because after like you know being locked up for so long and being indoors so long it's like you know everybody got to that stage where it's like you know what I can't be bothered I can't even make an effort to like get my makeup done I'm not gonna bother but after like you know July I was like you know what you only live once so I'm gonna wear my makeup even if it's indoors if I'm going to the grocery store and I feel like wearing my makeup I'm gonna do that so I'm bringing you your zoom edition of your makeup look and answering questions like that are Christmas related so if you guys want to see that then keep on watching and if you're not subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button turn on the notification bell and I'll see you guys in my next one Bye. I'm just gonna pin my hair back I don't want any like foundation or anything like sticking on my hair. I'm gonna try my best to share with you guys the products that I'm using. If there's something interesting about the products, I'm definitely gonna let you guys know. If not, all the details on the products that I'm going to be using on my face today will definitely be in the description bar. So let's get started. We're on my phone just to make sure that I have those questions open. Face primer and this is Embryolis Late Cream. This is something that I've been loving because it's so good even if you have oily skin after this i'm gonna start answering the questions when i get into like my foundation um but yeah um this is a completely different holiday for everybody i'm sure i'm sure like 2020 has been completely mind-blowing in on all levels um Everybody's plan is completely different. Everybody's perception or perspective on life has completely changed. You know, the holiday is not like the holiday that we would have hoped for or expected. Anyways, I'm going in with the Milani Mills Hollywood Rose Gold um, Illuminator. I really like to apply this all over my face when I want that glowy um, skin. I love applying it underneath my foundation. So let's get it on. Okay. So the first question that I have on here is, what is your favorite Christmas movie? Hmm. Honestly, when it comes to Christmas movies, I am not the one. I do not, I don't know if it, it's like a tradition. I know like a lot of people love to watch like scary movies during Halloween and watch lots of Christmas movies during like the Christmas holidays. I, on the other hand, I can't exactly say I have a favorite Christmas movie just because I haven't really seen a lot. Um, I have seen Home Alone, and I'm not gonna say Home Alone is like my favorite Christmas movie. It's not, like maybe when I was a kid, I liked it, maybe because I liked the idea of being him um, and being Home Alone, I would have liked that. I can't exactly say now that I'm an adult, like that is my favorite movie. A couple of days ago, I was watching The Grinch, and I didn't finish it because, I don't know, at some point I was just like, oh, I'm going to bed, so. Um, but it did start at fun, and I think I'm going to complete it. It's on Netflix, so I'll just watch it. I know that Netflix has been, like, doing a lot of, you know, showing a lot of Christmas movies. I haven't seen anyone yet, but I will check it out and see what's available. But if you guys have any good recommendations in terms of, like, holiday movies, definitely share that with me because I want to know. I'm taking time off during the holidays, so... Just probably binge watch. I probably didn't mention this, but my foundation is Fenty Beauty in the shade 440. And I hands down love this foundation just because of how it feels, how it sits on my skin. It's like a semi matte foundation. So if you have oily skin, this is like a good foundation that you definitely want to try. And it's not overly matte. So you don't feel like you're going to have like cake face. I feel like it sits well. It's very comfortable to wear and 
I love it because of how long it lasts. Like you can wear this foundation by eight in the morning and by 4 p.m. your skin is still looking really, really good. The next question is, have you ever had a white Christmas? A white Christmas. So ever since I moved here, I would say no, just because when it gets to the holidays, it snows before the holidays. Then when it gets to towards like Christmas, it's no snow, nothing. It's not even like no snow. It's like all the snow that was even on the ground is completely gone. Like yesterday it was like eight degrees. So I'm guessing that we won't be having like a white Christmas. But if it's in Holland, yes, I have had like a white Christmas. In the UK, no, not to my knowledge. So no, I haven't really enjoyed a white Christmas. I've had one. But I mean, who wouldn't want white Christmas every year? For concealer, I'm going in with the Maybelline um, Super Stay Under Eye Concealer in the shade Tan. I went to the drugstore yesterday and I should have picked up another one, but unfortunately I didn't, not knowing that this one is literally gone. I picked it up in the store. I was like, do I need it? No, you still have um, one at home. And getting home, it's done. So I definitely need to go back and grab a new one. I'm gonna brighten underneath my eyes with the Born This Way um, concealer, and this is in the shade Butterscotch. Butterscotch, scotch, scotch. Okay, Butterscotch. And I'm just gonna put like two dots underneath my eyes just to brighten it a little bit, not too much, cause this is like really, really bright. So while I'm doing that, let me go to the next question. So where do you usually spend your holidays? Um, okay, when it comes to like the holiday season, and I'm gonna do it in bits because it's kind of changed over the years. Um, obviously when I was younger, it was obviously with my family and that was really one of like the best times ever. We would have family friends over, we would have our cousins, relatives, and some of them would like come and spend like the whole month of December in our house. So we would have so many kids doing all sorts of fun stuff, being crazy, being silly. And I enjoyed that, like those were the years. But in like my adult years, I spent Christmas most of the time with my sister. Cause in Lagos, my sister lived really close to my house, like a five, 10 minutes drive away from where I would live. So I would go to her house every Christmas holiday um, cause she would cook up a storm and she would have her friends over. Me and my friend will go over to hers. I would make something at my house, bring it over to her house. And like, we would all just eat, have a good time. Like, and I loved that too. Got to spend time with like my niece and my nephew. And after that, me and my friend would like go back to my place drink, have wine, have more food, and be stuffed out of my mind. But now I live with my boyfriend, so it's just me and him that will be spending the holidays together, which is going to be great. Um, I mean, 2020 is a completely different year because of just COVID. So it's not like we have any plans for the holiday season other than just being thankful that we're healthy, we're alive, we have our family and our friends and they're all good, so. So I'm gonna contour my face with the GVS Place Stick Foundation and the shade that I'm using is Castina. This is a really nice shade to use to contour and I'm just going to apply it a little bit on my forehead and down the bridge of my nose and get ready to blend it out. And while I'm blending, let me look at the next question. The next question is, what is your favorite Christmas song? Like, honestly, I don't even think I sh they should be asking this question because I'm sure 95% of everybody I know is gonna say Mariah Carey, all I, want for, all I want for Christmas is you because that song is timeless. That song belongs, like it's, when it comes to Christmas, Christmas equals Mary Carey song because <sighs> that song is just beautiful. It's happy, it's beautiful. It literally just embodies what the whole holiday season is about. Trust me, every year, every year that I hear <laughs> all I want for Christmas is you, all I think about is Mary Carey sitting down, drinking her martini and like the checks are rolling in, the checks are rolling in because 
every holiday season back to back like people are jamming that song and it's really really a beautiful song that i really really like to set underneath my eyes i'm going with the black radiance loose setting powder i recently got some of their um, stuff sent to me in PR and they recently launched in Rexall um, drugstore here in Canada. I did go to Rexall, Rexall yesterday, Rexall pharmacy yesterday, and I didn't see any stand in the store for Black Radiance. You see uh, all the other drugstores, all the other drugstore products, but I didn't get to see this. Maybe it's not in this Rexel close to my house, or maybe like it launched in Rexel, but it's launched online. Whatever the case may be, it's available, and I'm trying their loose powder as well as a bunch of other stuff that I do have here. And I have tried it before. Um, this is not my first time trying it, and I must say I like this setting powder just because of how light it is compared to the Sasha Butter, um, Sasha um, Buttercup or yeah, Sasha Buttercup, which is slightly more yellow compared to this. And this has like a good, nice, um, you know, balance to it. So with that being said, let me get ready for the next question. I'm gonna get ready to look at the next question, but I thought I should show you guys this palette that also comes from Black Radiance. It's their True Complexion Contour Palette in medium to dark, and I really like it because it has like a contour shade, it has a sculpting shade, and it has a highlighter shade. And I really like the highlighter shade because it's just very subtle, and that's what I go for when I'm getting my makeup done. So the next question is, do you open any presents on Christmas Eve? Um, no, because like I can't remember the last time I opened or got a present for Christmas, um, which sounds sad, but at the same time, it's just the dynamics of things. When we moved back from Holland to Nigeria, it just, we just stopped with the whole like, you know, exchanging presents and it literally just went from, um, so I'm giving you Christmas money, buy whatever you wanna buy. So that was your Christmas present. And in all honesty, I can't say like, oh, I miss opening presents because I mean, what is better than somebody giving you money to go buy what you actually want to buy and not what they think you might like. So that was just Christmas in most Nigerian household. household. So you just get cash instead of a present. And honestly, I can't, I can't even be mad at that. If somebody even wants to try that with me right now, I'll definitely opt for that because, I mean, I get to buy what I want and not what you think I might like. So I'm not mad at it. So I can't remember the last time I opened a Christmas present. Let me just end it there. I have to drag the questions. <laughs> so yeah, I can't remember the last time I opened a Christmas present. Moving on, moving on swiftly. Um, can you name all of Santa's reindeers? Oh, the answer is no, I'm not sure I'll be able to get it, but I'm gonna, try my best. So the most common one is Rudolph, the red nosed reindeer. Yeah, is Rudolph. And there's Dasher, Prancer. So Rudolph, Dasher, Prancer, Vixen, Cupid, Comet, Rudolph. <laughs> Rudolph, Dasher, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, and that is it. Prancer? Did I say Prancer before? Like, okay, I'm just gonna check because I really don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I missed like two. So there's Dasher, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Donner, Blitzen, Rudolph. What did I name? Because it seems like I named like seven, but it seems I probably made up a name somewhere in there. But yeah, so it's Dasher, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen, Rudolph. Those are Santa's reindeers, honey. If you did know, now you know. Not Honestly, I would have probably started calling the names of the seven dwarves at some point if I had tried any harder. So, yeah. Let me just get my brows done. And to get my brows done, I'm using my um, Essence Brow Pencil, which is like my go-to brow product um, when I want more detailed um, you know fluffy brows I would go in with like a brow gel to get that done but my brow pencil is ever faithful and it's just two dollars so can't top that
One did it at the Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Okay, so I already cleaned underneath my brows and used my um, concealer as my eyeshadow base and it's still the same Maybelline one that I used earlier on. But for eyeshadow, I'm going in with the Nuban Beauty Wishes eyeshadow palette and I really love this palette because of all the colors that it has in it. Um, it has some matte colors, some shimmer colors, some really bright colors, and some muted colors, warm colors that you can use every day and I really, really like it. I picked this up from FelicitaArtistry.com um, so you can definitely check it out. I do have a code with them so I will also leave that if this is, um, leave that in the description box if this is something that you might be interested in. They do have a lot of black owned um, brands that they stock. So for this look today, I'm going to be using this palette and let's get started. Okay, the next question is, what holiday traditions are you looking forward to um, this year? Oh my God. You know what? I think the only holiday tradition I'm looking forward to this year is the spirit of gratitude because 2020 is a completely different year for everyone. And it's just, the right time to be thankful, to be happy that we're all healthy, we're all safe, um, you know, and just be happy for everything that we have. So any new traditions, like that would be for next year, but for this year, um, no, nothing, absolutely nothing. I'm not looking forward to any new traditions that I'm building. Hopefully as the years go by, me and my boyfriend, we will start making like our own traditions for me us and our family. But for now, like, there's nothing. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the next question because that question was like, you know, is your Christmas tree real or fake? My Christmas tree is fake, fake. Honestly, I'm, I don't know if I can deal with like a real Christmas tree in my house. Um, I know a lot of people say like, there's a huge difference. Like, you know, it looks nicer and everything. And like, you know, the smell of the pine needles and all of that good stuff, like all well and good. I'll buy a candle that comes in that fragrance, but I can't deal with like a real tree. If I'm was, if I was gonna buy like a real tree for a hundred dollars and get a fake tree for a hundred dollars. So that means every year I'm gonna be spending a hundred dollars for a tree. You know, I'm not gonna do that. Like, I'd rather buy a fake tree, fold it up, keep it away in storage, and, you know, use it again. I can use that $100 for five years. Yeah, so I'm not gonna be buying a real tree anytime soon. However, I do wish I was a little bit patient because honestly, I would have liked a, those Christmas trees with like those, like, you know, snowflakes on it that already come like that. like. Um, I wouldn't have minded that. It would have been really, really nice. Maybe what I will do next year is get like the spray cans that you can spray on your tree that gives it that effect without going overboard. That's probably something I can consider or sell this off and get a new tree. For my lids, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's really shimmery and I'm just gonna add that on my lids before, um, you know, moving on to the rest of my face. Let me see what the next question is so we can keep it moving. So I'm tree fake. Let me know if you guys are tree, tree real or tree fake. Um, what's your all time favorite holiday treat, food or sweets? Honestly, I can't sit here and say, oh, I like this, I like that. I just like food. That's just the truth. I like food. So if it comes to Christmas, just give me everything that you're serving, don't even, Ask, oh, do you eat the, I eat everything on that day. Every single thing. When it's not Christmas, we'll be on the diet. We'll pick out what we want to eat, what we don't want to eat. But just give me food. That's just the truth. People will probably start off like, you know, Christmas with like, oh, we have like breakfast and then we have like lunch and all of that good stuff. Look, we don't even play in Nigeria when it comes to Christmas. From the minute you wake up and you start cooking, just start eating, just start eating. So if pepper soup is the first thing that comes out, give it to me, I'm down for it. 
like I like pepper soup Christmas Day it's literally just getting your stomach warmed up for all the good stuff that you're going to be having so give it to me if it's rice chicken let's start like by 10 11 in the morning if your food is ready like people are already stuffed out of their minds like we go you go all out on Christmas Day you eat all out you diet when you get into the new year those are some of the things that I love about the holiday season just working out eating like a pig so to, for me to sit here and say oh this is my favorite thing no I just like food give it to me I'll eat every single thing that you cook um, rice chicken turkey pepper soup plantain gizdodo small chops name it just keep bringing it I'll just keep eating there's no limit to what I can eat on that particular day and there's no shame in that game on that particular day however I do know what I don't like on Christmas Day and this I'm sure if like you ask any of my siblings I'm sure it's probably the same thing um, during the holidays when we were much younger my dad used to get like tons and tons of like you know Christmas hampers and hampers is such a thing it's such a huge thing in Nigeria however we used to get this huge ass cake that two people needed to carry like it was that big the cake was huge and it was absolutely the most revolting thing that I have ever ever tasted <laughs> I'm so sorry the cake was bad um, it had so much alcohol in it because you put alcohol in cake if you want to preserve it and make it last longer that cake did last so that cake will last till February March it would get to a point where we're just like okay if people are not coming over to and we're not giving this cake chuck it in the bin because nobody wants to see it we lost respect for the cake after like the first week the cake would be in the house it had lots of raisins and lots of like it's like a food cake with alcohol so there's no need eating the cake you can literally like if you eat the cake you can literally be like you know tipsy like you could be high because it has that much alcohol in it it was so horrible like horrible when people would come over to our house like oh thank you for stopping by here you go oh I don't want cake no you got to take cake <laughs> you got to take cake you need to take that cake and leave because nobody wants it we don't want it we're just trying to not be wasteful by throwing it in the bin so we're giving it to anybody literally anybody it was so bad the cake was so bad oh my god so yeah that is one thing that I didn't like about like the holidays but any other thing like bring it bring all the food that you have I'm down for it this year I don't know what we'll be making I'm tired of the usual regular schmegular um, you know rice chicken all of that stuff honestly if I could outsource that out to somebody to just make something really nice for us that would be much better for me last year um, I did cook it's not like I had like lots of people over but I did cook I had my landlord um, come for um, what's called again breakfast lunch and dinner but I live in a basement so he's an old guy and I had him come over because he didn't want to like Christmas is a time that you spend with your family and your friends and you know he had already been complaining a couple of days that like oh he misses the days where people would send like you know cards and he would see all of the cards coming in the mail now everybody's just sending e-cards like what is he supposed to do with that and I'm like I feel your pain he doesn't have any kids that doesn't have a wife or anything and he's a really old guy so it's like yeah come spend Christmas with us and he really had a good time because him and my boyfriend they were just chatting about football and I'm just glad that we got to do that so maybe it's gonna be the same this year because I mean it's just me him and him upstairs so yeah so I'm gonna move on to line my eyes with the Rimmel Wonder ink liner and I'm just gonna draw a baby wing before I move on to the next question okay so I took the liberty of lining my eyes and applying my lashes off camera um, just so that I can save time let me see if they're sitting well before I move on to the um, next question the lashes that I picked up are Ardell lashes and they're in the style 422 love love how they look how they feel and I picked it up also from Rexel so it's right around the corner it's such a beautiful like lash I, I'm considering 
trying, um, you know, lash extensions, getting something like natural. So I don't always have to like, you know, put strip lashes on. I think those last for like four to six weeks, depending on how well you, you know, maintain them. So I'm going to contour my face with the True Complexion Contour Palette. And this is from Black Radiance. It has like the contour color, a sculpting color and a highlighter, which I love the highlighter because the highlighter is really, really subtle. And I really like that when it comes to my makeup. So let me look at the next question. The next question is be honest. Do you like giving or receiving gifts? Um, honestly, both as in, I can't say I don't like receiving gifts, like, or I like giving more than receiving. Honestly, <laughs> I love receiving gifts. I also like giving. Um, so yeah, both like, there's nothing I'm going to say about, um, any of those. I like receiving. I like love giving. I'm going to go into my blush. The blush I'm also using is also from Black Radiance. And this is in Brick House. I feel like this color is absolutely gorgeous and would really sit well on dark skin. I like to do this before taking off like the excess powder and before going in with like my all over the face powder. But the next question that I have here is what is the best Christmas present you have ever received? Hmm best Christmas present I've ever received. Um, like I said earlier on, like the last time I ever got Christmas presents from my parents was like a really, 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 really long time ago. Honestly, if I tell you when they started converting Christmas presents to cash, it was really, really early on in like my life. So it was just like, here's money, do whatever you want to do. But the best Christmas present actually comes with a twist because um, we were really young and it was me, my baby sister, and she hates it when I call her my baby sister, my baby sister and my younger brother, we used to go to the same school. And every year we would get this letter from the school sealed and like, do not open, give it to your parents. And I'm like, you know, first of all, you can't be telling me to give my parents letters. And I don't know what it's about because what if I've done something wrong and I don't want them to know. So being very inquisitive, I was like, we get three of those letters, one for me, one for my sister, one for my brother. And I'm like, we can't just be sending these letters home without knowing what's inside. So let's do something. Let's open one of the letters. Let's not open mine because I don't want to get in trouble with my parents. So we picked my younger brother's um, letter to open. Now opening it, that's when like, I knew that Santa wasn't real because in the letter it was, um, to our parents telling them that they should buy us, you know, the Christmas presents and have it sent to the school so that that way, like Santa can give it to us in our classes. So at that point in time, my younger brother and my younger sister both got the news that Santa isn't real, obviously by my doing. But at the same time, I was like, yes, this is awesome. I have this information. So that means I have the power to do what I want and get the right present. And I told my brother, like, you know, let's make demands for the present that we want. And if we get to school and Santa gives it to us, then we know that it's really not Santa. That is our parents. That's actually Santa. So being the tomboy that I was like back then, I was like, I'm not asking for like a doll or a Barbie or anything. Those were definitely not stuff that I was interested in. Like my kind of stuff was remote control cars and, and all of that stuff. So I told my brother, like, I'm going to ask for like, there was this car that I really, really wanted. It was like wireless remote control car. And I was like, yes, I really want it. And my brother wanted the same car too. So I asked for the red one and he asked for the blue one. So we go to school, Santa is there sitting on Santa's lap, you know, telling us all sorts of stuff. And then I get the present and boom, it's a red car, a red remote control car. I was like, 
These people don't know that this child is going to be getting all the presents that she actually wants every year now that I know that it's my parents that is Santa Claus or like, you know, that is the one getting us these presents. So from that point in time, I actually knew. And I think I spoiled it for some other kids in my school at the same time, like, you know, telling them like, Santa is not the one that got, got you the presents, your mom and your dad. I'm telling you this because I read the letter and, you know, then I, I got warned not to spoil Christmas for any other person. But... It was actually good knowing because I was going to use it to like my own advantage. So yeah, I can't be mad. I'm gonna go in with my face powder. I use my Laura Mercier powder for all of my face. I love how it feels, it's very lightweight and just really goes well. So the shade is medium deep, yeah. So I'm gonna use that for all over my face before moving on to the next question. So moving on to the next question, which is what would you, what would be your dream place to visit for the holiday season? Honestly, like I've seen so many picturesque, picturesque places in Canada that those are the places that I would want to go to. Like, um, Blue Mountain, is it Blue Mountain in Canada here? I would definitely love to go, um, anywhere that is just cold and has snow, that would be my ideal like vacation spot for um, what's called again, the holiday season. I wouldn't mind going to like Paris for Christmas or even going to Italy for Christmas. Um, yeah, those kind of places and visit Canada. Canada is literally like, should be the ultimate place that you should be during winter. Just make sure that the place that you go to actually has snow. But right now in Ontario, I'm, I'm not getting that right now. Like there is no snow and I don't know if it's going to snow this um, Christmas. So, okay, I'm going to line my eyes with a black pencil. This is from Black Radiance as well. Um, I'm just going to do that before reading the next question. I don't want to poke my eyes out. And let me show you guys the mascara that I used earlier on before applying my lashes. This is from Zarin. I also got this from Felicita Artistry. And I love it because it has like, you know, the big side for your top lashes. And if you are someone like me that struggle to get anything out of your bottom lashes, this detail, fine detail right here is gonna help you get your lower lashes popping. So I'm gonna use that before, okay, answering the next question. And the next question is like, are you a pro present wrapper or do you fail miserably? Like, honestly, when it comes to wrapping presents, I fail miserably. And I think I still have like pictures to prove that I fail miserably. Last year we volunteered for, um, to help um, an organization to wrap presents for the holiday. It's part of like what they do. Um, and it's also like, part of our CSR and we went gift wrapping, um, me and my team. And honestly, I feel sorry for people that were actually, sadly, I so sad to say, feel sorry for people that were paying us to wrap their present because I personally did like a horrible job. And I probably, I still have a picture. I probably inserted somewhere here so you guys can see, I did a horrible, horrible job of wrapping presents. Like nobody should do that. The first one I would get by pretty okay but when it comes to like the second the third the fourth like count me out like there's nothing i can do for you okay the next one is what made you realize the truth about santa i just told that story not too long ago um like i said you know getting all that letter is being sent to my parents not knowing what was in the letter i needed to know what was going on at least i needed to know that i wasn't in trouble and that's how i knew that santa wasn't real so i'm gonna finish up my lips right now. I think this is literally the last bit. I'm thinking if there's anything that I've missed out in this, like, you know, routine, but everything seems checked. I live in the nude. I love my nude lipsticks all day, every day, but in the spirit of the holiday, I'm going to be wearing a red lip. And this is Maybelline's um, Superstay Matte Ink. And this is in the shade Pioneer. And this is so beautiful. I picked this up yesterday. That's to show you how, um, you know, recent this is. So I'm gonna be trying red lips out and I'm gonna look at um, another question just to see if I haven't answered 
um, anything. So the next one is most memorable, the most memorable holiday moment. I think, oh my God. Oh yeah, I have one. So I'm going to do my lips first, then answer that question and finish up this video. So let's get into it. most memorable holiday moment. I don't know, most of these stories that I've shared are all around like, you know, Christmas. So they're all pretty memorable. I think the only thing that I haven't shared is like, I think when I was like 12, 13, we had my cousins come over to our house and I don't know for the life of me why I thought for some reason that I had the voice of Mariah Carey or Beyonce or I was so gifted to like write lyrics. Maybe at that time I really, really did like music. So I did tell my cousins that had come over and my sisters, my sister and my brother, that we were gonna take two days off to compose lyrics. So we were gonna be the composer, you know, and we were going to sing the Christmas song that we had formed. God, the lyrics of my song was so whack that even till today, like when it gets around the holiday season, if I'm talking to my siblings, they are going to make fun of me over that song. And it goes something like the bells ring, ding-a-ling, and the snow of Christmas, something like that. <laughs> so embarrassing. But yeah, like that was so horrible. And if my cousin watches this video, he would probably know like that particular time, it was so horrible. It was so horrible. And I still get teased about it all the time. So yeah, that is definitely it. But I'm gonna take these out right now. And cause my look is done. This is the finished look. I am loving, 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 loving this red lips on me. This is not me on a normal day. I am a nude girl, but this particular red lipstick has renewed my faith that I can rock it. <laughs> I, I can absolutely rock it. So yeah, um, I'm done with my look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys tried this look out, but I'm gonna love and leave you guys. I'm wishing each and every one of you out there a really wonderful holiday. Um, I hope you get to spend it with your family in whatever capacity you guys will be spending the holiday. Just be grateful and thankful that we're all here and and we have a roof over our head, we have food in our mouth, and you know, we're surrounded by love and the people that love us. I just wanna say happy holidays to each and every one of you. I love you guys, and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.